Hi, I'm Karen Montgomery, designer of the Scrap Crazy Templates for Creative Grids. Are you ready to get a little crazier? The original 6 and 8 inch made wonderful quilts. This new set makes even more. They have the exact same non-slip grip as all of the Creative Grid rollers. All your corners are clipped and it's a perfect way to use up your scraps. Let me show you how they work. The first thing you want to do is cut all of your pieces from just scrap fabric or you can use purchased yardage. You'll sew the A piece to the B piece and then you'll add C. And you'll notice when you're sewing the templates together that they just fit. The dog ears are already pre-trimmed and there's no judging any funny angles. You just sew a quarter inch seam allowance. You'll also add the D to the E and then you'll have two units that look like this. That's A, B, and C, and D and E. Once again, when you put the pieces together, they just fit. Sew the final seam, and you'll end up with a block that looks like this. Now, if you choose to use all the same fabric for your project, then you can create different patterns just by rotating the blocks, putting all of the A templates together, we'll create this star. A quarter turn for each one of them, and you'll get an entirely different look. You can also use the templates to cut from a standard 10 inch square or a layer cake. To, in order to do that, what you want to do is measure up six and three quarter inches on the left hand side and then two inches on the right hand side. Use any ruler to connect those two measurements like this and cut the squares apart. Once they've been cut apart, you can then cut the A, B, and C template from the top half and the D and E from the bottom half and as you can see from very little waste. Stack up as many squares as you're comfortable cutting at one time, cut them up, rotate your pieces and put it back together again. As an added bonus, both the A and the C template can be used to create a standard kite block in any size up to a five inch finish. Remember when cutting the C template to leave your fabric folded the way it came off the bolt so that you get a mirror image of your pieces. The C can then be stitched to both sides of the A to create your kite unit. You'll find additional markings for two inch, three inch, and four inch on both the A and the C to make that more convenient. Then you can use your kite blocks in any other standard block that requires that size up to a five inch finished. You can use the templates together as one set to create the quilt that's behind me. This is the free pattern that's included with your template set. You can also use them to make lots of fun things like ribbons and bows. This one's been trimmed to a placemat size. Uh, you may see scraps, but I see fish. So you can use them to create fish, or how about trees? This Christmas tree was created by sewing together lots of smaller strips first and then using the templates to cut them out. So you really can use all of your scraps. There's also arrow shapes that can be created. And of course, one of my favorites, fireworks. In addition, you could do table gems, or even the one that's on the table right here, which uses all of the templates in mirror image. I really hope you enjoy using your scrap crazier aids.